What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can troubleshoot general lag or bugs on your phone that are called caused by third-party apps that you may have installed from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store um, and it's called Safe Mode. If you've never used it, um, it's definitely a good tool to have in your toolbox if you notice a slowdown on your phone, if you've had some lag recently. These kind of things can happen from a rogue app that's kind of draining all your battery or just causing general you know, jitters and stutters on your phone. So we're gonna get into that today. Before we do, I wanna remind you guys that if you're looking to upgrade your wireless and also save some money, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, and they also have plans for in terms of data and pricing that fit everyone's needs. And as I've talked about, since April 14th, they have upgraded all of their data buckets for absolutely no additional cost. They now have a five gigabyte a month plan for 15 bucks a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 20 gigabytes a month plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan for 30 a month. But they did upgrade the uh, unlimited plan to 40 gigabytes of 5G high-speed data and also an additional five gigabytes on the mobile hotspot. So even unlimited users, all new and existing customers are getting extra value. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, as well as mobile hotspot included. Very simple to switch to Mint. Just go to their website and get any three-month plan with a physical SIM or an eSIM. I've been using it now in the Phoenix, Arizona area for just around seven months, and I've loved using it. I know a lot of you have taken advantage. If you haven't yet, not only have they increased the data buckets, but also right now I have an offer. If you go to mintmobile.com springer, which is my link, it's also in the pinned comment and the description, and go ahead and sign up um, for a three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter DM, and I will send you out a free smartphone case of your choice, even an official Samsung leather case for the S23 Ultra, if that's the case you're interested in. Any case, any phone, I'll send one out, mintmobile.com slash springer to sign up, and we do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about safe mode a little bit. Like I said, I already gave some motivation of why you might wanna do this. Let's suppose you know that you've been using your phone, everything's been going great, and then one day you start to notice some um, lag, some jitters, some stuttering here and there, and you wanna troubleshoot it. And it's kind of hard to do because obviously there's a lot of apps that could be causing the issue. Um, you could factory reset your phone, which you could do, but that's gonna wipe all your data and all your information and all your settings. The better thing to do is to put it in safe mode because then you can treat it basically like it just came out of the box where it only has the stock apps, but you don't have to delete all your data. So the way you do this is you get to the power menu, um, you can either hold down the power button if you have the side key set for the power menu or hold down the power button and the volume down until you get the power menu. When you get the power menu, go ahead and long press on the power off button. That's gonna bring up the safe mode. You're gonna go ahead and tap this again um, to restart in safe mode. It tells you downloaded apps will be temporarily disabled to help you troubleshoot. So go ahead and tap safe mode and it's going to go ahead and reboot your device into safe mode. Now, while it's taking time to reboot, let me answer a few questions. I mentioned this just now, but I know people are gonna ask, this does not delete any of your data, first of all. It does not delete any of your apps. So the apps that you've installed, they're not permanently deleted. They're also not permanently disabled. So you're not gonna have to go in and re-enable all of your applications one by one, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, the apps will just be partially disabled um, for a temporary time while you're in safe mode so that you can troubleshoot any issues. Now, like I said, battery drain is one of those issues that can creep up as well as lag, and um, that's something you can troubleshoot with this. So you can see here, safe mode's in the bottom left corner here, your usual lock menu. You'll see it also is in airplane mode then when you go ahead and restart it, um, something that just does when you have it in safe mode. So you can keep that in mind. You'll notice that all these apps that I have installed are now grayed out. And it says safe mode is here, um, tap safe mode is on, tap here to turn off safe mode. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, you can see that just the dialer, camera, Play Store, Google Chrome, Calendar, Bixby, all the Samsung applications basically, and all the Google apps that were installed by default out of the box, um, as well as any stock voicemail applications or things like you have you know, from your carrier would be installed. You guys will see I have a couple of third-party widgets and also the, um, the one I showed you guys last time with the pixel search, that widget is a third-party widget, so it's disabled. And you'll see the safe mode text down there at the bottom. So it's a good idea to use the phone, maybe in safe mode for a bit. You can try play around with it, see if you notice any of those issues. You can even try using it for a while, although again, it is a little difficult because it's initially in airplane mode to use it, you might have to turn that off. But then when you're ready to go ahead and go back to the regular one, let's say you figured out, you know, 
which of the apps is causing the problem, what you can do is kind of enable you know the apps one by one. You can do that as well, and then troubleshoot the, the you know the app, app that's the problem. You could go through and say, okay, I downloaded these five apps in the last week. Let's go ahead and disable one of them. See if my phone is working when I have it in regular boot mode. And then if it's not, then go ahead and do the same thing, alternating on and off. But you can definitely verify that if it's in safe mode, that it's not you know a problem with the UI or one UI, a bug that needs to be fixed by Samsung. So when you want to get out of safe mode, just tap on this. It'll tell you it's going to restart and then all of your apps will be available again. So you're just going to go ahead and tap on this. It'll restart the operating system. And then of course you will be back once again to the regular um, usage of your phone with all of your applications installed. All right guys, so I went ahead and rebooted my phone. You can see everything is working, no problems right here um, out of the gate. Um, one thing that you will notice though, and that sometimes can be a problem when you go to safe mode and then come back, you'll notice that sometimes your widgets that you have on the home screen, like you guys saw my 14 KWGT widget, is no longer there. <laughs> Um, and so that means that you might have to go back and re-enable the app. So like if you go to KWGT, let me go in here, find it right there. You may need to tap on this um, in order to get it to work. Um, but sometimes you may have to re-add the widget entirely. And so this can definitely be a little annoying for those of us who like customization. You may have to re-add your widget again. But to troubleshoot your phone, I would say it's not really a problem. You can see that home up is still working. So is my icon pack, um, just my widget is gone there. I wish they would fix that, but it's something I've noticed with safe mode before. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Future videos like this, again, if you guys are interested in getting some premium wireless, starting at 15 bucks a month, and also a free case for me for testing out Mint, trying it out, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer, also in the pinned comment description. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.